Today I have the pleasure of speaking with Steve Ehrlich from Voyager Digital. How are you today? I'm good. How are you? Thanks for having me. Our audience is very interested in you, obviously. I mean, you've increased uh, your assets under management 20 times. You've reached $100 million in less than one year. And of course, my interest in Voyager is, you know, from my own professional experiences, to me, you're the first crypto account where I might actually put my own money. So how about we start there, Steve? Tell us how you've managed to do this over the last year. Yeah, we're, we're definitely a unique company. Uh, we're the only publicly traded company that's an agency broker for crypto. We're not an exchange. Um, and so what we're trying to do all the time is make sure we bring the best products, best coins, best execution back to the consumer. What folks like you are used to seeing in the online, traditional online brokerage world. My background has been in the online brokerage world, spent eight years at E-Trade, built my own online broker called Lightspeed Financial for six years. I want to take the concepts of online brokerage back to crypto. And one of the reasons we became a public company was we wanted to bring the trust and transparency with that to the consumer. So they, every quarter we file our, our financial statements, every year audited financial statements. Uh, and so customers can get that comfort that their assets are there, that we're reporting these things. And so we have, because of that, we've been able to get to over a hundred million and growing. Uh, our assets are growing, more money's coming into the platform. So we're exceeding even a hundred million pretty fast. We've grown off that, uh, but we did it in less than, less than a year. And that's because we are that trusted party for people to enter the crypto space, whether they're buying Bitcoin or USDC or any of the other 48 coins we have. We're a trusted party for them to make their first entry into the market. I think trust is a good point here. And obviously, I'm not the only one that's looking to Voyager to say, hey, I'm ready for my, my, my first real crypto account. I noticed you just announced winning this uh, the sixth annual 2020 Benzinga Global Fintech Awards. You were the People Cho People's Choice Award. Can you tell me a little bit more about that? We're, I mean, we're extremely excited about winning that. Uh, Benzing is a great partner for us as well. We work with them quite a bit, uh, but it really shows the power of Voyager, our community. We're only in the U.S. right now, and we, I think we blew away second place on the voting of that uh, because we have such a, a loyal customer base that keeps growing, and effectively, we've built our entire business over the last year off of a word of mouth rather than marketing because we've had loyal consumers who've been able to spread the word about us. And they showed their support by giving us, I think like 10 times more votes than second place. And we're so excited by that because, you know, it just validates what we're doing and validates our community. And back to what you said before, the trust, the only reason they'd vote for us is because they trust us. And that's the key to everything we do is earning the customer's trust. It's a customer centric business. And that's, that voting showed it. Well, I can't comment enough about the management team that you've built. I think that that, you know, went a long way for, you know, immediately in reviewing your marketing materials. I, I went, okay, we have, a, we have a real player here with depth, depth of knowledge and experience. Um, so can you just comment a little bit about how you brought this management team together and, and perhaps provide us with a little bit more confidence that they may actually stay longer than, you know, three months. You know how these companies do it. They put together a great team. We all go in. We all write our checks. We're, you know, and then all of a sudden they're gone. We're, we're missing them. No, it starts at the founder level with us. Uh, besides myself, Gaspar DeDruzzi, serial entrepreneur, has built companies called Pager uh, and Capital and has done a really a lot of things in the financial technology world. He's He helps us oversee our entire product, so he's really invaluable to us. Philip Aton, serial entrepreneur as well, been in the capital markets for years before he started investing, early investor in Uber, uh, also uh, started a company called Secure and Pager as well. Both are which like close to a billion dollar companies today. So knows how to bring companies and mature companies from startup to that maturity level. And then most importantly, Oscar Salazar, who is the founding CTO of Uber, who gives us a lot of insight on being disruptive with the mobile app and how to bring it to the market and how to bring more product to the market in an efficient manner. But it doesn't stop there. That's the immediate team that started the business. Then we have a complete management team below us. You know, Gerard Hanch, he's my COO years in the capital markets business and now runs our product, runs our operations, runs our technology, uh, lives, eats, breathes crypto. You can follow him on Twitter and he's predicting the market and has 
darn good at it too when he's predicting the market, especially Bitcoin. Uh, Janice Barrio has been with me 20 years, uh, years at E-Trade at Lightspeed when I was capital markets guru. And then we just hired Mike Legg to run our, our, our communications ex-analyst, knows a lot about how the market reacts and how to, how to talk to the market. Evan Seropoulos, who is um, you know, now our CFO, who comes from public company years of experience. These guys are all long-term guys. Everybody, we're trying to build this thing and really create the preeminent financial services company of the future. So we're really excited by that. Of course, I'm excited about this, but I can imagine all the emails I'm going to receive from this uh, interview with, that's great, Tracy. Can you please get to the numbers? So on that note, let's talk about this. She recently reported excellent fiscal 2020 fourth quarter and full year results. And also you have an intriguing enticement program for new accounts that really makes sense. Can you talk to the numbers for just a minute, minute uh, for us, please, Steve? Yeah, it's, it was, the fiscal year end was really exciting for us. We did, I think, 1.1 million of annual revenue for June 30th. We filed that audited report October 28th with the MDNA that anyone can go on to Cedar and go read those reports. Uh, up The 1.1 million of revenue was up from 100,000 the year before, so 11X in one year. Uh, we also announced that we, we did 700,000 for that June quarter, so for the fourth quarter of our fiscal year. And we did at least you know 3X that in the first quarter of that ended September that will be filed sometime by the end of November uh, as required by the regulator. So we've seen this tremendous growth. Um, you know, we expect continued growth. We, we do have an intriguing marketing program where we give away Bitcoin for every new account that people come on board. Uh, people can refer a friend and get Bitcoin when they refer a friend. So you get some, they get some, it kind of the sharing. Uh, creating an ecosystem. And then on top of that, we're enticing a lot of people into the market uh, by giving away 85% of the interest we earn on coins. So you bring dollars to us by a USDC stable coin, which is backed dollar for dollar by greenbacks in a, in a bank, in a New York State trust bank. You bring the dollar in, it gets minted to a USDC coin, and you can earn up to 9.5% on that. And we give back, you know, we earn maybe a, a percent, a percent and a half on that. And we use that as an, a way to get people in the ecosystem. We've just seen our assets grow off that. Uh, and Bitcoin, the same thing. We've become the preeminent place to hold your Bitcoin if you want to be a holder of Bitcoin, because we're giving you somewhere between five and a half percent and six and a half percent, depending on whether or not you hold any of our own tokens as well. And you can get up to six and a half percent just for holding your Bitcoin. So if you were lucky enough to buy Bitcoin, you know, Three months ago when it was 8,000, and now today it's over 16,000. Not only did you get 100% appreciation in the coin, you're earning 55 to 6.5% interest paid monthly. So it's compounding. You know, Each month you're getting more and it's going to compound upon that. So it's a great way. We're, again, we're all about trying to create a bigger community, grow our revenue, grow our customer base, which we've been doing very successfully. Well, congratulations for all your ongoing successes, and uh, please join us uh, again in the future, Steve. Thank you. Definitely will. Thank you for having me. Appreciate it.